by saying that all the research shows that um, kids do better when the schools incorporate visual and performing arts programs. The reality is, with our limited budgets, that our kids aren't exposed to that. It's, it's hard, um, you know, to set aside time for visual and performing arts. So I feel that the story projects really address that. The California Department of Education does have a visual and performing arts framework and, and set of standards that um, children need equal access to. I started the story project um, in the fall. It's now June. Um, you know, one thing that infused arts through the rest of our curriculum. But we took a real critical look at the visual arts standards and we wanted to align the program's goals with those standards, you know, as we are a standards based system. I believe that uh, one of the biggest components of our program and our curriculum is communication and problem solving. Uh, our program is designed to encourage them to get up and out of their comfort zone and uh, share how they really feel, share their story, share their poems, share their songs, share their uh, ideas on how we can come up with a picture or two. Our students in the story projects, um, when they were tackling visual communication, what they did is they compared uh, different art forms from different historical periods um, with photography and filmmaking. They studied film from the 20s and 30s when it was done silently and having to look at the way people moved and facial expressions and the lighting and how that created emotion and compared it to how filmmaking is done today with the different approaches to filmmaking and looking at the different writers and directors and the cultural time periods in which they fit so in. So essentially what our students did was they looked at theater productions, they worked with their mentors, um, and they created their own productions based on those experiences and those characters. A lot of the students know that they like doing certain things but aren't aware that they can parlay that into a career. For instance, we have students who like drawing but don't realize that you can make a living as a storyboard artist, um, a production designer. There are some people that like fashion and learn that there is a costume designer on a film and in order to do this, they have to read the script, they have to interpret the scripts and think about what that clothing says about that character. The students uh, learned other subject areas and other uh, art forms that could apply to their careers. With, along with music, they learned business, they learned uh, communication, public speaking, they learned uh, problem solving skills, they uh, creatively were involved in the, throughout the whole process. A lot of the students are interested now in theater, they're interested in filmmaking, they're interested in writing and being poets. and. Uh, behind the scenes in business and marketing, so uh, it's encouraging. Helped us fill a void that um, is otherwise very hard to address. Thank, Thank you, Story, Story Project. Project.